In this video, we're gonna be going over lookup fields within Zoho CRM. We're gonna cover both one-to-one -one lookups as well as multi-select lookups, and uh, kind of all the bells and whistles that go along with those. Uh, so before we jump in, I do wanna ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below because that really does help us out. And if it does spark any questions and you find yourself in need of some additional assistance for your Zoho install, just head on over to zanata.com click on book a meeting and we'll be talking in no time. So without any further ado, let's jump on into CRM. Actually last week, we put out a video covering the creation of custom modules in CRM. And I did touch on lookups quickly in that video. Um, so if you've seen that, you'll know about this jobs module that I've added to a CRM account. It's a really basic module. I did remove the lookup fields from it so we can add those and kind of go through it in detail here today. But this is basically the type of record that might get created when a deal gets closed one. And we'll probably want this record linked up to things like accounts, contacts, and deals. What I'm going to do is go into setup up here in the top right. We'll go into modules and fields. And then we'll access our jobs module and jump into the standard layout. Now, within this layout, what we'll see is that there are not currently any lookup fields included. And again, a lookup field is really a field that is a link from one record to another. So I'll add a new section just to keep things clean. I'll call this relational information, just so I know what's going to go in here. And then we can add a couple of our lookup fields. So one thing that's important when we're adding these is always to think about, is there going to be one option that I've selected for this record, or are there going to be multiple? And so in our case, the first thing we're going to want to add is a lookup to an account, right? We're basically going to do this job for a particular customer account. So I've added that field. We'll give it a name. Up here in the field label, you generally want to call it something related to what is being looked up. We are looking up an account from a job in this context. Then we'll choose the module itself. So here we'll choose accounts. And then we'll give it a related list title. Now I do want to highlight a lot of people actually make a little mistake here and they call this related list title something like account or accounts. Um, that's not what you want to do. The related list title is something that will show up in the account that has a list of jobs. So here we're actually going to call this jobs. Just like any other field, we're able to make it required, show tool tips. I'm gonna circle back to filtering lookup records in just a moment, but with that, we can go ahead and save this record or this field. I'm gonna do the same thing here with deals. So for a deal, we're just gonna have one deal that this job is for. Related list title is also going to be jobs because when we're in a deal, we'll see in that related list, the list of the jobs that are involved for that particular engagement. Now for contacts, I'm actually gonna add two lookups. One of them is gonna be a single lookup. The other is going to be a multi-select lookup. And I'll kind of explain why as we go through and do it. So for this lookup, what I'm gonna do is call one of them the primary contact, right? Because there's generally gonna be one person who is that primary contact who's involved for a particular job. You might be talking to two or three different people, but there is that one person that we're going to say, hey, like uh, at the end of the day, they're paying the bill. They're making the final decision on whatever the work is that we're doing. And then under this related list, now I'm going to need to get a little more creative, right? Because we're going to have more than one way to link a job to a contact. So I'll generally give it a name that looks something like this. These are the list of jobs where this person is the primary contact right? And so we'll make sure that we kind of apply those appropriately. Okay, so with those added, I'm actually going to save the record. We're going to come back in just a second and add that multi-select lookup. But I do want to show something really important that makes this system a lot more easy to use. So if we're looking at our relational information, and we see the account deal and primary contact, one thing you might think is, well, if I choose the account, it would be nice to only see deals or contacts that are a member of that account, right? Just kind of trim down some of the noise that could be involved as we're selecting from a list of, you know, could be hundreds of different deals. So if we go into edit properties in this deals record and we go into filter lookup records, 
Now we can come in and actually apply two different types of filters that should be available for removing options that are gonna show in that selection. So if I do something like account name is, I can either choose the value, so I could type in Zanata, kind of hard-coded in there. Maybe I'd say like contains or something like that. Or I can make it a field, right? So here what I'm saying is only show me deals where the account name of that deal matches the account name in my jobs module. So now I can click done. And I can come in and do that exact same thing here for the contact set, right? So we'll say if account name is the field account, right? And so this is where sometimes like you might want to implement like a wizard or some type of process for creating these because hypothetically, this kind of assumes they're going to fill in the account first. Now working top to bottom, that's normally what's going to happen, um, but it never hurts maybe to make a certain field required or kind of set it up in a way that encourages people to use it most ideally. So now I'll click save on that. Now, there is one more thing that we can do with a singular lookup before we move on to multi-select lookups. And that's going to be adding a field through a lookup. So let's say I want to have this primary contact email address as just like a field directly on the job record. Now, sophisticated users may know you generally don't need to add the email here. You can kind of refer to it in the other modules. I'm using email just as an example. This could be an address. This could be a billing structure or something like that that you just want to pull in from a related record, really just for ease of visibility, right? If you have a user that just wants to go to jobs, they don't want to think about anything else. So here I can actually add a field of a lookup module. And so what this is doing is basically saying, hey, we're going to grab from my contact the email address and I'm going to map it into an existing field or you can add it as a new field. I generally add the field first and then map it. That's really just a preference thing at the end of the day. And now I can click save. And so when we get into the demo of this, you'll see once I select a contact, it's just gonna drop their email address in this field for me. And I don't have to worry about typing it in or writing a script, right? That's gonna copy it and bring it down. So with all of our individual lookups now set up and that syncing of the data configured, we're going to now add a multi-select lookup from our jobs to the contacts module. Now, you might be thinking, Tyler, you've lost your mind. We already have a lookup. Um, this is something that does come up a lot of the time, especially with like job type data, is you might have this like additional contacts data, right? Where you've got that primary person, but we still want to be able to track multiple different contacts that are relevant for this particular job. So here I've given it a field label. I've selected our related module for contacts. I'm going to choose a field label in the related module. So this would be like jobs. Now, I always like to add some context. If I'm going to have two lookups between the same two tables, I want to basically name everything with some type of identifier. Um, I don't want anyone to think that this list of jobs these people are the primary contact for because they're specifically not. They are additional contacts. Now, this relationship specific module, this is basically a module that's going to sit between my jobs and my contacts. And it's going to have a row in that database for every single individual link between them. Now, I always recommend adding these because we can add some additional contextual data to those linking modules. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So this linking module is basically going to be something like this, your additional contacts for those jobs. Looks like I actually ran out of characters, so I can't say contacts. You'd want to get creative and just make sure that you get all the info that you need into that module. And now I'll go ahead and save. And so now we've added these, we've added our three lookups. We've done some filtering where, right, where when I select an account, it'll filter for the deals. It'll filter for the primary contact. So now let's go ahead and actually fill some of this data in. So in my case here, I'm going to use an example deal for our process that what's going to be done with this Zanata LLC deal. So if I come into my implementation of CRM record, I can choose the Zanata LLC as an account. Looks like we've got a lot of demo accounts in here. Now, when I go into deals, there should only be deals that are related to that. So that looks good. We've just got these four. 
We can pull up our list of contacts. I know mine's in here, so I'll go ahead and choose that. Here it's gonna now pull that address. So it's saying, hey, I'm about to add this address into that primary contact field. And boom, there it is. Again, did not need a script to do that. And then we also have this set of additional contacts. And so here, let's say I were to add, you know, Greg Belknap and, you know, a different record. Let's say a Jane Doe that we add as additional contacts that are relevant. Now those are going to be filled into that additional contacts list. And so important to note, each of these that are blue are going to be a link. I can just click on it to open up directly to that record. Now that we're here inside of the account, we can see that we have this list of jobs that's been added. One thing I do always recommend when you're adding new lookup fields is just make sure to go into those records and move that module to the appropriate place where you want it. It's always going to put it way at the bottom. Um, obviously, in my demo account, there's kind of a lot of messiness in here. But so I can move up that job list to the top, and then I can come in and actually choose which types of fields I want to include in this list, right? So I've gone ahead and just included the deal, the description, and the job status. That's going to be the same on each of these other records. So if I were to go into our LLC deal, we'll also see that list of jobs here, and you'll see it in the contact record itself. Now, there is one bit of a difference, though, because we've got our primary contact. If I open that up, we'll see that I've got my jobs list for primary contacts. And then I have this other jobs list, which again, I'm going to rename to our additional contacts. And this would be where they'll go if they're in that multi-select related list. Now, last thing here, if I go into a job and I go into this contacts list, we'll see that it's added this related list of all of the appropriate contacts that have been added to my additional contacts list. Now, one important thing here is that each of these can actually be opened up. And you'll notice that we're not inside of the contact record itself. We're inside of this other database, which is again called a linking module that has a row for each and every one of the related contacts to each deal. Now I'm gonna give you a bit of a tip here that's pretty important when you're working with the related lists. And it's one of the main reasons that I always go in and um, add the linking module when it gives me that option and I'm adding a multi-select. The reason for that is if I were to jump into settings, now I can come in and use this module to store additional contextual data. So here again, we've got some of these unnecessary fields. I'm just gonna move some of those down for purposes of clarity. So we'll be right back in just one second. And so now that I've just done a little bit of cleanup there, we can now add additional fields to this linking module that adds some context as to what is their specific relationship to this job, right? So that can look like adding multi-line fields. A lot of the time, it's gonna look like adding some type of role. So this might be like a decision maker, purchaser, you know, executive, whatever those different roles are for you. And you can add all of that data here to this linking module so that now if I were to go back to a job, I'll give that a refresh just so that my new field shows up that I've added. I can add that role to my related list. And now I can actually come in and say, hey, this Gregory Belknap, he is the decision maker for this deal or for this particular job. And, you know, Jane Doe, she's just the executive. She might need to get a quick summary here and there, but she's not the person who we're going to work with on a day to day basis. And all of that context can now be stored in this related list for each of those additional contacts. So, again, you technically don't need to add this. Um, I just recommend that you do. It's one of those things where if you add it and then you kind of hide it for now, right? I come into my related list and hide it. The nice thing is you might need it later and then you can just bring it right back into the layout, add any of those fields that are gonna be relevant for you and you'll be off to the races. So with that, I think we've actually gone through everything we need to here for lookups, everything from adding individual one-to-one -one lookups, doing some filtering, doing some field filling, and then getting into those multi-select lookups with a couple pro tips kind of sprinkled in there for you. As always, I really do hope that this video was useful for you. 
Um, if it was, be sure to like and subscribe down below. If it sparks any questions, video requests, or any feedback for us, uh, leave those in the comment section uh, as we do try to read through each and every one of those on a weekly basis. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.